Robert, I'm going to ask you a question to which there's probably no answer. Have you ever knowingly watched a high-profile professional card cheat working a game? No. If he's really good, you're not going to know it anyway, right? right? Now, 99.5% of all card cheats will use a marked deck. Marked deck is simply a deck that you can tell the card from the back is mm -hmm. most helpful in the face. There's only one problem. If you use a marked deck, is physical evidence mm -hmm. in a court case. Mm -hmm. In order to show you what a real top cheat will do, Robert, I'm going to ask you just to select a card. Anyone at all? Look at it. Okay. Show it to a whole bunch of people. Just don't let me see it. Okay. We place it on the deck, and the rest go on top. So now you're thinking of one card in the deck. Now, as I said, 99.5% of all card sheets will use a marked deck. But you see, if it's caught and put into it, you know, and someone like me, an expert witness, called into a case, we can read it. As I said, that's hard physical evidence. A real top pro, if he is winning, will do nothing. He doesn't have to. He's winning. If he does have to do something, then he will use a slight or a subtlety. The reason? He gets caught and they say, got a picture? There's no way you can prove it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they will use is what we refer to as a slug. Now, a slug is simply a group of 10 to 20 cards in the center of the deck in a known order. So as he's dealing, when the first card comes up, he knows every card that's going to follow, and he bets accordingly. Now, sometimes he'll work with a partner. Now, if, of course, he does work with a partner, and his partner is sitting to his right, his partner cuts the cards. Now, let's assume the slug starts on the 17th card. Okay. That means he would have to cut exactly 16 cards from the top. Mm -hmm. Robert, would you just count those cards, see if I did get 16. Sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16. Oh. Okay. So you see, you see, by doing that, what has now happened is his partner has cut to the first card of the slug. Mm -hmm. So if he's playing in a game such as stud, then he knows everybody's whole card. Now, this is absolutely true. My mentor, many, many years ago, he said to me, Martin, he said, if you're in a game of stud and you don't know everybody's whole card, you have no reason to be in the game. Mm. That's the way they think. Mm. Now, of course, not all gowns will work with partners. Some work what we call single-o. And so they will usually cut five cards from the bottom of the deck. The reason is they're going to switch the five cards in for the five cards they have in their hand. Mm. Now, as I said, the slug is a group of 10 to 20 cards somewhere near the center. Robert, would you give me a number between 10 and 20? 12. 12. What I'm going to attempt to do, Robert, is I'm going to attempt to cut 12 cards from the center of the deck. Would you please count those cards onto the table? So you see, Robert, not only do you have to be able to cut any number of cards you want from the top of the deck, not only do you have to be able to cut from the bottom of the deck, but you have to be able to cut from the center of the deck, any number. But you selected a card. Right. Let us assume that the card that you selected <coughs> is a card in the slug that I need to fill my hand. What was the name of your card? Jack of Clubs. So not only did I have to cut exactly 12 cards from the center of the deck, I had to cut to your card, Still the hand. <laughs> <laughs>